How did I get here? Or there? And why am I on a pile of trash? But to get those answers, we need to start at the beginning. And we start with saying goodbye to the beautiful city of Orison, while also leaving my apartment keys with the penguin. We're going to be starting a life of crime, and our goal? Have other people do all the hard work for us, while we just show up all sneaky and borrow their ship without the intent of returning it. My gear for today is pretty straightforward. I try to match my armor to blend in the best I could with the desert sands of Daymar, and I chose some light armor for more mobility. Not to mention a nice little sniper rifle to scout ahead and possibly take out anybody running around, and just, you know, anything to make my life a little bit easier. We're headed off to Brio's Breakyard. For some reason, this is always where the action is happening, and it just so happens to be one of the few places in the verse where people can sell some uh, questionable cargo. And since I'm running solo, I'm hoping to just land and sneak onto a careless cargo runner ship. Thank God I remembered to pack some extra patience. This whole night operation was a complete bust. Nobody was showing up. It took until sunrise for somebody to finally show up, but I was ready for them. I found a good little spot to keep an eye on this A2. My shot was lined up and I was just waiting for the elevator to come down for me to strike. At the same time, I was tracking just a random bounty because also I was bored and it just so happened that my target was coming to see me. My target threw out some noise so that any players coming near Brios wouldn't be able to lock onto him or pick him up on scanners. Pretty smart strategy. But that's really about the only smart thing that they did because instead of shooting the back doors open like a normal pirate, they chose to go for the kill, which scared away the A2. While my bounty target was scaring off the A2, it gave me a chance to run into the facility and prepare for them to land and sell once they hopefully shake the cutlass. That never happened. So I waited another day and I came back with some friends. This might not be the uh, stealthiest operation, but oh, it sure looked cool. The one downside to our presence here is that anyone wanting to sell would just fly over us, like the C2, casually just noping out of the area. But just out of range, we were after a juicier target one of our pilots found. Somebody parked their 890 off in the distance, and we took that as a perfect opportunity to have some fun. The top hangar door was open, which made it all too easy to break in. We cleared the ship pretty quick, checked the bed beds and the crew quarters for anybody breathing, but we were surprised to find nobody. Whoever owns the 890 named Arcadian, thanks for the joyride. Most of us have only been on this ship to clear out some hijackers, so seeing it moving was a real treat. And we celebrated by trading some goods at the bar and enjoying some sweet, sweet water. We were on our way to Microtech. We wanted to land and load up some ground vehicles and play on the ice a little bit. You know, totally normal pirate behavior. <laughs> We know that we could have been out salvaging or stealing salvage for an ungodly amount of space credits, but you know, we thought we deserved a little R&R. &R. And the 890 at New Babbage looks unreal. I know this ship is the most expensive and serves really no real purpose other than just showing off, but come on. I grabbed my luxury Lynx Rover to bring on board, but we ran into a major issue. Our OCD got the better of us, and we closed all the hangar doors. And because we don't own the ship, we can't open the ship anymore. So now, it's just a useless 890 sitting there mocking us. Now it seems like the only way to relive this dream is to actually do some hard work of salvaging. Everything is going great. I'm leveling up my salvage reputation so I can unlock the locations of some serious paydays. 
Obviously, these locations are a gamble when it comes to having anything worth selling on board, and you already know that. But do you know what's less of a gamble? Wake of Disaster. It's dangerous to go in solo, but if you get there first and get out fast, you can make some bank. That's exactly what I intended on doing. Everything was going great, but while I was loading one of the last containers of Widow onto my ship, somebody else came and decided to shoot at my ship. Now, I knew that by the time I got back into the cockpit and got into the pilot seat, I would be dead. So, I decided to run and hide on the dark side of the salvage ship. I was just hoping that the AT would not see my glowing eyes. I waited patiently, and eventually, my time came to strike. Looks like I outpirated the pirate, and so I took his body as a trophy and headed over to the Carrick. First though, I had to make sure there's no other friends on board. I didn't want to get snuck up on. Now, you see, these Carricks are basically just a big tease. It's almost impossible to get cargo out of them, but this one had almost 50 mil on board, and so I just had to break it open to see if I can get lucky and see what crates could spawn out. But as I was trying to blow up the Carrick, I did notice another set of laser fire. Thankfully, these guys were more friendly than the last guy, and so actually I was able to make it out with some Weevil eggs that managed to pop out. I wanted to get more, but somebody was mad about me stealing their ship and came back for revenge, so I quickly just made a jump to get out of there. And as I jumped away, I remembered that I had the trophy on board, and that's exactly how that person would track me, so I needed to dump it ASAP. Now, to all those people yelling at their computer screens right now saying, I told you so, I know, I deserved it. Would you call it karma, even though he shot first, or just a rookie mistake? Anyways, I just lost out on a few million worth of credits, but hey, I got a good story to tell. Turns out, a life of crime is not for me, so it's back to the normies of Orison. Being a good citizen isn't so bad, you know, I'll never turn down some action though, even though I might get a crime set for just a little bit but I am still determined to get that A90 jump. I have some big plans ahead that involve some seriously huge vessels. I want to introduce you to someone, but I've got to be up front. He's a bit of a shitty character, but here's the twist. I met him ages ago out in the black while I was salvaging. It was honest to goodness work, and it's how I made my fortune. While I've done well, he makes it seem like I'm broke, and I figured I'd call in a favor. He's got a history, no doubt, but there's something about him. It's just intriguing. You can call me the benefactor, but those who know me best know my real name. Unfortunately, I do not know you so you will not know my real name. However, I have heard through my contacts, Oliver Hurston, Harcourt, even Klesher in the prison, you're throwing a party, but yet you don't have a ride. I'm prepared to offer you that ride. Yeah, the party, it was a, it was a pretty closed invite, but you know, there's, with a ship like that, a ship like the 890, I'm sure we can make some space. There are people within your organization who you think are loyal to you, but in fact were loyal to me first. So I would have shown up regardless. But I wanted to make it formal. Face to face, you know? Sounds like I got some moles digging up holes that they shouldn't be making. Gotta fix that later, but for now, we got a party to throw. Yes, we do. The transfer has been sent.
Thanks for making it to the very end of the video. You're an absolute legend. I have so many fun videos in the pipeline that I cannot wait to share with you. So make sure that you don't miss a thing by doing all the basic YouTube stuff, leaving a like, subscribing, commenting, you know, telling me if karma got me killed or whatnot. But also special thank you to all those channel members who made this video possible. Thanks again for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.